Are the Beavers going broke? Justin Bieber sells his music catalog at such a young age. For $200 million. Justin Bieber bought Hailey Bieber a new engagement ring that cost him $1.5 million. Justin Bieber is spending more money than he has coming in. Hailey Bieber is spending all of Justin's money and now he's starting to stress out. Ever since their wedding, he has felt uninspired. He's not created new music and he's sold off all of his old music. So it seems like he's checked out. And sources claim that the isolation in addition to Hailey's excessive spending is taking a toll on Justin Bieber. So let's get into it. <music> It looks like there's trouble in paradise because this headline reads, Justin Bieber is miserable as wife Haley blows up millions of his fortune on these wild luxuries, including a second engagement ring worth $1.5 million. Justin's not working like he was back in the day. So he doesn't have, you know, I mean, he has plenty of money, but he doesn't have a lot of money coming in day to day like he used to. But Haley looks like she's comfortable spending it all. This article reads, performing at a lavish pre-wedding party for the billionaire son of India's richest man earlier this month, Justin Bieber looked haggard, strung out, and stressed. Freshly off a flight direct from LA to Mumbai, Justin Bieber rattled through a lengthy set of his greatest hits as part of the Mbani wedding. Hours later, he was hightailing it back to California and home to his pregnant wife, Haley. It seems like Justin is pretty picky about the gigs that he accepts nowadays. He's not going to go and perform just anywhere, but I don't think Justin Justin could say no to a $10 million check, especially when his wife, Haley, is spending carelessly. This article asks, why did Justin take time away from his pregnant wife to perform at such a frivolous event? Did he need the money that badly? I mean, last time we checked the numbers, he was worth about $300 million. <laughs> This week, speaking exclusively to DailyMail.com, two sources close to Justin Bieber have claimed that the star is growing increasingly desperate. This is so crazy to me. So Haley is a seriously high spender. Well, can't she spend the money that she's making from her road skincare? I mean, that stuff is expensive. But supposedly she has spent tens of millions of dollars on private jets to fly around the world, including once taking a plane just to get her nails done at a particular manicurist. So she's spending like crazy and I'm sure the road skincare isn't bringing in that much money. What's more, Justin is seemingly no longer in the music making business. Some insiders are actually blaming Haley for this, that Justin's not putting out new music like he used to. Quote, he's isolated from his friends and family. He's miserable right now as Haley has taken complete control over him. He has lost his identity, creative drive, and he is uninspired. Which kind of reminds me of what Jennifer Lopez has been doing to Ben Affleck. That description is certainly a far cry from the confident 12-year-old who first appeared on stages in 2009. Flash forward to today, Justin hasn't released a new album since 2021 and hasn't toured since 2022 when he cut his Justice tour short. Announcing the world tour's cancellation, Justin told fans in September 2022 that he was making health a priority following a terrifying about a facial paralysis caused by Ramsey Hunt syndrome, a rare neurological disorder that Justin was dealing with. And it's something I never heard of until I saw that his face was stiff. Then, in January 2023, there was another shocking revelation because Justin announced that he was selling the rights to his entire 291 song back catalog, which is a big deal for any artist because they're essentially selling all the music that they have written, that they've recorded, and any of the money made further on this music will go to whoever owns the catalog. It's something that an artist would typically do when they are ending their career. And it looks like Hypnosis Songs Capital bought his catalog for $200 million. In exchange, he no longer receives royalties on any of the tracks he's released or had an interest in before December 31st, 2021. So songs that we haven't even heard before. Justin Bieber sells his music catalog at such a young age. Lil Wayne just did this. A couple other artists. For $200 million knowing he's going to continue to make music. Are these guys broke or something? Like the man's married about to start a family soon. Creating generational wealth. What's with all these one-time sales?
Apparently, this is the largest music rights accusation to date. When it comes to this deal, I have a feeling that Justin was easily influenced by someone who got a big cut of that 200 million. Some of his insiders were surprised by his decision to sell. Successful musicians traditionally look to offload their catalogs near the end of their careers. That's typically when the windfall can help their finance and their expensive lifestyles as they step back from the spotlight. A source claimed that Justin was advised against selling, but Haley played a part in convincing him to do it. Probably because she wanted him to have that 200 million dollars plus if they have a prenup setup I don't I don't know what the prenup would entail but if he had gained 200 million while they were together then that would be hers as well because what they acquire while they're married is considered both of their wealth I mean unless they have some prenup in place in May the couple renewed their wedding vows in Hawaii with Haley revealing her pregnancy and a new eight carat oval cut diamond ring which is estimated to be about six hundred thousand dollars Haley must be wearing it proudly because Justin was initially against buying the new ring, and some people told him that it was awful of her to even ask for it, adding that Haley told Justin that she had to have it to renew their vows, and the end, she got what she wanted. Justin Bieber bought Haley Bieber a new engagement ring that cost him $1.5 million. Showing off her nails, people realized that Justin got her a new engagement ring. This new one is allegedly 18 carats and around $1.5 million. The original one is about 6 carats and $400,000. Now the internet's divided on whether or not this means they're restarting their marriage. Honestly, they have the money. I think it's just a nice gift. According to sources, Haley is controlling every aspect of Justin's life. This article reads, Haley's influence is even said to extend to Justin's clothing, which in recent years has shifted from a more manicured style to a grungy look. Quote, Haley used to only want Justin to look hot. Now she likes him to look unkept because then she thinks that girls will not flock to him. A representative for the couple had responded responded to this claim and actually dismissed the allegations as salacious. Although Haley's increased management over her husband's life may have come about through necessity. Maybe Justin needs this control. After the couple married in 2018, Justin seemed to settle into a more serene lifestyle, telling GQ magazine that being with Haley had given him someone to love and a stable home. But cracks in their relationship soon started to show. The pair have openly discussed issues in their first year of marriage, during which Justin battled bouts of Severe depression. One person shared their thoughts on Twitter, writing, he should have just stayed single, while another person writes, she might as well make the most of it. Haley recently opened up about her pregnancy journey for a magazine cover, writing, I probably could have hit it until the end, but I didn't enjoy the stress of not being able to enjoy my pregnancy outwardly, which we see a lot of like the Kardashians, you know, Kylie Jenner, they all kind of hide their pregnancy until the baby is born. I feel like that's so weird. It kind of like creates this mentality that we need to hide women when they're not like perfectly fit. It's like pregnancy is beautiful. Like if you got a big pregnant belly, go and show it all. She said, I felt like I was hiding this big secret and it didn't feel good. I wanted freedom to go out and live my life. She's been hiding her pregnancy because of the backlash she's been facing. Vile, disgusting hatred that can come from completely made up and twisted and perpetuated narratives. Um, that can be really dangerous. But there's conflicting headlines incoming that are alluding to a separation. The article states, Justin got another place in Beverly Hills so he could give Haley the space she wanted. He did recently buy some real estate, but it was in La Quinta, California, and it's his attempt to save their five-year marriage. In random news, it seems like Selena Gomez isn't backing down. This headline reads that Selena Gomez laughs off It Girl Era video set to Justin Bieber's song, saying, I was so depressed back then. This article reads, Selena Gomez doesn't want to go back to her It Girl era. The singer reacted to throwback footage of herself getting snapped by paparazzi and posing with a fan. In the video, you can see she is around paparazzis, and the song chosen is uh, Justin Bieber's Company. The caption read, I know and so do you that at the time, she would never have gotten engaged to Benny Blanco. She was in her It Girl era. A lot of people try to come for Selena Gomez because they say Benny Blanco is not attractive. He's creepy. He's posted very disturbing content of his kid before, which we've exposed in a video in the past.
So Selena Gomez did not appreciate people were calling out her past self and alluding to the fact that she probably wouldn't date Benny Blanco back then, probably saying that she was too like pretty and uh, at her peak to date someone like him, which I think is actually really a nasty sentiment. And Selena agrees. She commented, kind of makes me laugh because I was so depressed back then. So maybe she looks good, but she wasn't happy. Selena's clapback comes months after she confirmed her romance to Benny Blanco and defended it from negative fans. She was quoted saying he has treated me better than any human being on this planet. Which is crazy because he's actually dissed her in the past and was one of Justin's longtime collaborators. The actress noted that she and her partner are not phased when naysayers comment the most hurtful things. Selena and Benny Blanco are still going strong, telling Howard Stern that they are considering starting a family together. Benny Blanco wants to get Selena Gomez knocked up. As for the possibility of proposing, Benny said, I take every day at a time. I just know that when I look at her, I just say, I don't know a world where it could be better than this. Which I feel like usually the proposal comes before the baby, but okay, Benny, do your thing. Who's most likely to? Couples edition. Who's most likely to fall asleep during a movie? Who eats the most? Who's the first to apologize during an argument? Who spends more money? Who takes longer to get ready in the morning? Who snores the loudest? Who is more romantic? Who cleans the house? Who likes to be the big spoon? Who said I love you first? Who's most likely to forget that it's Valentine's Day? Now, some fans are starting to speculate that Selena might actually be engaged to Benny Blanco. Over the weekend, Dumoy shared a post where an anonymous source claimed that an A-list actress and a semi-retired singer got engaged. They got engaged at a beach where they were surrounded by their friends, and I guess this is a usual spot for them. Selena actually celebrated her birthday at the beach, so some people are speculating that she may have been gifted an engagement ring by Benny, which I don't really like birthday engagements. That's a personal opinion. I don't like birthday engagements. I don't like engagements over food. Like, just for myself. I don't care if you do. You can do whatever you want to do. I'm happy you're in love. But for me, don't propose to me with some food. Don't propose to me um, at, on a birthday or a holiday. And please don't do it in a big crowd of people. Make it romantic. One person wrote, I think she's implying Selena Gomez got engaged. A person wrote, it's Dumois, so I'll take it with a grain or until I see it on Instagram. A second user wrote, I hope this is true. They seem great together. Another person writes, she looks really happy and he he seems to be on the same page, so I really hope they work out. And then finally, I would be so happy to see them get married. Selena did recently celebrate her birthday by the beach, surrounded by friends, and did share this post to her Instagram story, calling Benny the love of her life. I think we can all agree that Benny treats her like the queen that she is. I know I've never seen her happier, and as a fan, I just love seeing Selena really in a great place and in a healthy, loving relationship. And she's just always smiling every time we see her and I love to see it. Selena's now made it clear on many occasions she's never been happier than she is right now in this relationship. Honestly, good for Selena. It looks like she had a great birthday. She had some good friends around her. And if she's happy with Benny, we're happy for her. But Selena has been active on social media, actually asking a physician's assistant to leave her alone. There was a TikTok video from 2023 that Selena commented on recently that called her out, uh, claiming that she had plastic surgery. She actually commented saying, honestly, I hate this. I was on stripes because of a flare up. I have Botox, leave me alone. So Selena's alluding to the fact that she's not had any plastic surgery work done, which I actually, I, I don't, I don't know. She doesn't really look like she's had a lot of things done, but she does look different in every photo I see of her. Every single photo I see of Selena Gomez, she looks like a different person. Whether or not she's gotten cosmetic things done, I don't know what to attribute any of these changes to. I think when it comes to Botox and filler, I really, I do these things when I'm pretty confident that I know what someone has gotten done. But when it comes to Selena, I literally have no idea what to attribute her physical changes too. Now, I don't think it's cool to go and poke fun at someone's appearance. And you know, Selena, she deals with a lot, especially when it comes to weight gain and things like that. So she's not the one. And of course, Marissa, the person who made this TikTok was quick to apologize because she didn't want to hurt Selena and uh, put this on her, but you know, yeah, it did. It bothered her. And Selena's very active on social media. It makes me question if she's ever seen any of my videos before. I'm like, oh, God, that freaks me out. I agree with you. I do think that we should leave you alone. And I said that in the video. I totally understand you still, like, not appreciating it. And I'm not sure if this was a response to me or to just, like, the comment section or the whole thing. I think it was probably just the whole thing. 
you don't owe it to anyone to like tell us why you don't look the same as what you did when you were a teenager or like in your 20s. I myself look nothing like what I looked like when I was a teenager or in my 20s. If Selena's happy, we're happy. If Justin's happy, which it doesn't look like he's happy, then we would be happy. But Justin's not happy. Justin seems to be miserable. And it's so interesting to see this all play out over time. These couples kind of like separate from each other and become adults and grow up and to see the positions they are in. I mean, Selena's doing really great with that rare beauty, right? Doesn't she make bank off that? I wonder who makes more money, Selena Gomez or Justin Bieber? I mean, Justin was the most Googled person for a couple of years, and those tours, I'm sure, brought in a lot of money. So I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. But I'm sure that both of them have more than their partners. I mean, we know, obviously, Haley, she's getting off on that life. But, you know, Benny Blanco probably has a pretty penny because a lot of uh, producers and songwriters, they make a lot of money off the music. So, hmm. Interesting. But I want to hear what you guys think in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in a new one soon. Bye, guys.